What have we got? We know there's footprints, because Henry found them, so did the tour guide, but we all heard something. Maybe we should just look for whoever's got a big dog. Henry's right. What? I saw it, too. What? I saw it, too, John. Just, uh, just a minute. You saw what? A hound. Out there in the hollow. A gigantic hound. Um, look, Sherlock, we have to be rational about this. OK. Now, you, of all people, can't just... Let's just stick to what we know, yes? Stick to the facts. Once you've ruled out the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be true. What does that mean? <laughs> Look at me, I'm afraid, John. Afraid? Sherlock. I always be able to keep myself distant. <sighs> Divorce myself from feelings. But look, you see, body's betraying me. Interesting, yes, emotions. Grit on the lens, the fly in the ointment. Yeah, all right. Spock, just take it easy. You've been pretty wired lately. You know you have. I think you've just gone out there and got yourself a bit worked up. Worked up. It was dark and scary. Me. There's nothing wrong with me. wrong with me do you understand you want me to prove it yes looking for a dog yes great dog that's your brilliant theory good excellent yes where should we start how about them the sentimental widow and her son the unemployed fisherman the answer is yes yes she's got a west hind terrier called whiskey not exactly what we're looking for sherlock for god's sake look at the jumper he's wearing hardly worn clearly he's uncomfortable in it maybe it's because of the material more likely the hideous pattern suggests it's a present probably christmas so he wants into his mother's good books why almost certainly money he's treating her to a meal but his own portion is small that means he wants to impress her but he's trying to economize on his own food well, maybe he's just not hungry no small plate starter he's practically licked it clean she's nearly finished her pavlova if she treated him he'd have as much as he wanted he's hungry all right not well off you can tell that by the state of his cuffs and shoes how do you know she's his mother? Who else would give him a Christmas present like that? Well, it could be an aunt or an older sister, but mother's more likely. Now, he was a fisherman. Scarring button on his hands, very distinctive fish hooks. They're all quite old now. It suggests he's been unemployed for some time. Not much industry in this part of the world, so he's turned to his widowed mother for help. Widowed? Yes, obviously. She's got a man's wedding ring on a chain round her neck. Clearly, her late husband's too big for her finger. She's well dressed, but her jewelry's cheap. She could afford better, but she's kept it sentimental. Now, the dog, tiny little hairs all over the leg from where it gets a little bit too friendly. But no hairs above the knees, suggesting it's a small dog, probably a terrier. In fact, it is a West Highland Terrier called Whiskey. How the hell do you know that, Sherlock? Because she was on the same train as us and I heard her calling its name, and that's not cheating, that's listening. I use my senses, John, like some people. So you see, I am fine if I didn't have been better. So just leave me alone. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh, why would you listen to me? I'm just your friend. I don't have friends. No. Wonder why. Hello Sherlock fans, please subscribe to the official YouTube channel for lots of great Sherlock videos.